champion. Got the win. How's it feel? I'm relieved. I'm tired, tired and relieved right now. That's how I feel. I'm just glad it's over. What was the? Uh, was there a certain event where you knew that you had it in the bag? Was it like a moment you were waiting for? Um, I think by the 400 when there was that switch because it was basically plus two points for us, minus two for Arkansas, and the momentum sort of started building after that. What was your reaction to that 400? Obviously, all eyes were on Britton Wilson. She's doing that double attempt. But your athlete comes through and gets a win in a very quick time. Did you secretly think that had a chance to happen? I've, I've been trying to get her to run like that all year. Dash. It's been so Stop painful that she, hadn't, she didn't want to do it. Walk she's sort of been back and always trying to be conservative. Sure, she's been cramping since she dash. finished the Keep race. So she said it hurt like hell, but she knows not how the race is supposed to feel. I, I, I've not been able to convince her that she can get through that pain and be successful. So she, hadn't, she just hadn't done it. And she finally went out hard and kept going. Because I told her she's much stronger at the end. If they go out in a fast pace, she's a swimmer. So, and when they went out fast, I thought, oh, yeah. So and Julian Alfred, I mean, you guys broke the four by one record two days ago, winner here. She runs all conditions records. What? Was this what you expected? Was it any yeah. higher ceiling she could have gone yeah. today? Yeah, I, mean, I wish the win could have been legal. I think it would have been really cool to, walk, to watch her walk out here with two collegiate records on the very last meet uh, on the Texas uniform. But you know what? The, the times was fast enough. I, I feel pretty pleased with it. What do you think Julian Alford's uh, ability is going to be going into this summer? Uh, and how have you trained her to kind of make sure she has the ability to go up against the Jamaicans and U.S. athletes in Budapest? Yeah, we, we have been actually training for that. Um, that's why she didn't run very many races. I mean, she only had two races before conference. So she's not really sharp right now. Because you can see at the end of the race, she started falling apart. We haven't done the really fast, fast technical work at the end for her to hold on to that 10 7. So she can't hold on to it. And I told her, you're going to have to be just good enough to win here. And then we're going to have to figure out a way to clean that up later. So I purposely not. We haven't done much showing. We told her twice. And typically we do that probably Seventh about a dozen times. So I'm kind of with health some things from her. So it is actually playing against her because she can't maintain her mechanics at the end. Are you going to prioritize a one or two or both or? She hates the two, man. It's, it's like it's such hard work to get her to do it that I'm just going to give up on that. I'm going to enter her in the two and she's probably not going to run it anyway. So, But the one is what she loves. We're going to start cleaning up for that. So why does it feel just overall to get this team title on your home track? Like, kind of perfect timing. How are you feeling overall just being able to soak it all in? Everyone taking photos with you, just smiles all around. I, I, I think relief, you, you know, you look at second places, you look at coming up short, and you frown on that. Not so much a frown on it because that got us to this point. You know, like, like the girls got so tired of getting second. That's what you saw. They had, Yes, they were well coached, but it really had to do with they were so frustrated and there was some selfishness on the team. We were not really jealous. These girls, all they cared about is winning for each other. So I convinced them that it's just about the team, it's about nobody else. And I actually learned that from John Calvary. He got what? I think he got seven rounds of All American. They played together and won a national championship. So I just told him, you got to have to just share the stage. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that who's the bowman, who's not. Just win this championship for each other, and I promise you, you'll enjoy this more than any other one. And right now, what you're seeing is like they're just in amazement how good it feels to win it. Flow to that point. Uh, when I asked you after the indoor meet, uh, and, 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 you, and you said like there's still a lot to be learned, yes. right? Yes. A lot of, I mean, a lot of it's physical, but the mental and emotional, yes. right? Yes. How, how beautiful is it to see it play out oh, over man, these two days? How man. much they learned? You can't imagine just watching them sort of anxiety and fears and nervousness is kill us. These girls were animals. They, they, they just did not, like, they didn't give a dang about none of that stuff. They just were focused on just the task, the task, the task. And even Rashida told me she was cramping in the end of the race and she didn't give a dang. All she cared about is, I gotta win this, I need these, we need these 10 points. Um, and that's what, what you saw. It's just like, it grows over time. You gotta get your butt kicked so many times where you sort of become like invincible. We just don't give a dang about getting butt kicked. I've got my butt kicked so much that I've got no butt kicked. And then you can go out there and be champion. Like the Arkansas team, they've won so much. That's why they're champions. They can come to the championship meeting and do it. We need to learn to win. And finally, we've learned to win. And hopefully, we're going to keep that journey going. Congratulations, coach. Thank you.